Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more My Hero Academia! Can't wait! And if you're joining me early today, it means you are one of my awesome patrons! Thank you so much! And you know, as always, I'm sending you those big old hugs right through the screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. So last time on <laughs> My Hero Academia, I made the insane claim that I was going to try and get through the episode without crying. Well, I picked a funny episode to do that with because debatably um, last episode was um, one of the most emotional, if not the most emotional episode of My Hero Academia. Um, there's been a lot of really good emotional episodes though, um, but... I feel like this whole season has been just incredibly um, emotional, for lack of, better, uh, of a better phrase. Um, every episode has just been on point, I feel like. Um, even though this battle has been quite, you know, it's, it's extended over a few episodes now, each episode just feels fast-paced and fresh and, you know... Um, I, I never once kind of got like, oh, okay, we're, we're still doing this battle. Um, it's been executed so well. I think that's, um, the, the main reason why. Um, so let's talk a little bit about last episode in more depth because we had a couple of really awesome things happen. Um, you know, the more I think about Ari and her having to come to terms with letting them save her, it makes so much sense because um, now, especially now that we know more about her past and you know how she came to be in Chisaki's care, um, you know being abandoned by her mother and everything, um, it really makes sense that she would have no reason to think that anyone had any value for her whatsoever. She has never personally experienced that up to this point, um, which is heartbreaking um we know that she's only ever kind of been like either abandoned or like just used as a means to an end um we got to see a lot of her like in internal struggle of just not wanting anyone to be hurt on her account and just uh feeling that she had to do anything to avoid that happening and we saw that shift from that way of thinking to just these people being so devoted, like literally being willing to give up everything, their quirks, their lives, anything to save her. Um, and <laughs> this is what I was trying to say at the end of my last reaction. I could barely get through it without like tearing up. Um, she has now experienced, you know, someone valuing her life. And she ultimately had to... Um, you know, allow that to happen. And that's a very hard thing. You know, I've been saying it all along that, like, they're really um, getting into some real life stuff here. Um, that's a hard thing to do if you don't feel like you deserve it. And so my little, my little after school special thing here is just going to be, you know, I, I think it's really cool that they've, um, and they've always kind of tackled, like, I mean, anime in general, fiction in general, um, Art imitates life, um, but I think it's really cool that they they tackled a very big real life issue like this one. And um, you know, if if anyone is watching who can relate to the concept of like abuse or anything like that, then um, you know I hope it I hope it helped. Um, so that's my little <laughs> that's my little. Uh, um, Melissa Hime after school special uh abridged. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm glad that they're I'm glad that they're dealing with that. So anyway, we also had a couple of like just on the note of like um in general uh awesome anime cool moments. Uh we had um pardon me, that that got me teared up a little bit more <laughs> than I thought it would. Like I didn't even notice until I'm like, oh my god, tears. Um so we had just Izuku being off the walls amazing. Um, you know, we've gotten a lot of love for, like, uh, Mirio and 
why he has why he would have even been a candidate for one for all and just like his perseverance and determination and it really drove it home to me that like he would he real I mean I can see why he would be like a top candidate but boy like I'm I'm still just as impressed by Izuku as ever um, and I think that's really cool that they managed to pull that off that like they brought in a newer character put him directly like in competition for this particular spot with our main character that we've been following for over, you know, into the fourth season now. And legitimately made some people think, like, hey. <laughs> um, but, you know, Izuku just hasn't missed the beat. Um, I thought it was really cool the way that he was able to go full one for all uh, with the help of Ares' um, quirk slash mutation, we now know that it is. Um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, I was going to say one thing I was also saying in my last reaction was, um, it's all a matter of perspective because her quirk in conjunction with his quirk are like the perfect pair. So it's just a really good analogy for how like one person sees nothing but destruction and the other sees nothing but hope. And you can see that a lot just between the heroes and an overhaul in general is that like he sees people, lives, everything as a means to an end uh, for his agenda. And to the heroes, lives are the point of everything. Like saving even one life like is, is the most important thing in the world. Um, and they even kind of, you know, back at the beginning of the season, we kind of got into that too. Like, should we, should we go into Saves Person now? Or like, will we cause more trouble by doing that? Or so they've, they've really, in short, they have touched on some really great concepts. Um, the story has been amazing. Um, I have very much enjoyed it. And last but not least, we had, um, Night Eye kind of having a revelation. Um, by the way, I will point this out that uh, back a few episodes ago, I somehow completely misread <laughs> the subtitles. And a lot of you have been um, uh, very kind about kind of correcting me and saying, oh, hey, that's actually not what was going on. I, I found it out very shortly afterwards, so I wasn't confused throughout like any of the episodes in between. But um, for some reason, when I watched, I think it was Le Million, I was under the impression that, like, Night Eye had seen that he and Izuku had to die for Eri to be saved. It was actually they died in the future where um, she was captured again and Overhaul got away with her. So just to clear that up, I'm, I've been on the same page for a little bit now, but I don't think I mentioned it. And um, I noticed I noticed some of the comments were like, um, hey. <laughs> so thank you guys. Sorry about that. I'm I'm on board now. Uh, but Night Eye got a really uh, big revelation, and that was that the future is not necessarily set in stone. And someone pointed out to me a lot of that I think is because of Aerie. Her quirk like rewound rewound things in a way that his vision is not necessarily set in stone. That's the way I interpreted it. I don't know if that was a theory or if that was like bona fide fact. I love it is either. Um, but essentially, I think this provides a whole new hope for um, for the All Might situation. Because like, yeah, because we had that this season too. On top of like <laughs> hard moral decisions and child abuse and people losing quirks. We also got, oh yeah, by the way, All Might's gonna die. This has been quite the season, you guys. Um, it has really thrown me through a loop. So uh, that's um, essentially, in a nutshell, what I wanted to discuss about the previous episode. I know I got a little long-winded, so what do you say we go ahead and get started on this next episode of My Hero Academia? I can't wait. Let's do it. Plus Ultra. This shot, the shot was, oh, oh, the shot was everything. The shot was everything. He just, he knows, you can see it. Oh, that's right, Aizawa's still. Oh, no, no, no. What's he doing? No, no! No! 
My love. My girl. Miss Ribbon. Oh, destroyed. Oh, Izuku, he's gonna feel this later. Well, maybe he won't, she's gonna rewind the. Uh oh. oh. That's right, she can't control it. You know, I gotta say, the boss doesn't seem like that bad of a dude. Maybe I'm... I don't know the whole story, but... No, but see, she's. That's not. That's just gonna make her feel worse and make her more agitated. Oh, good, they got. Oh, thank God. Oh, he stopped. I'm surprised he could do that. Like, hers seems so much more advanced than just like a quirk. Oh, that's their cute, uh, get out. <laughs> oh, he's, oh, sweetheart. My two sweethearts. Oh, <laughs> I can't take this. Oh. I can I can totally see him being the world's greatest hero. Oh shoot. Oh, I forgot all about them. Oh boy. Oh. So they're after that. They're after the drug. Kind of surprised they can joke about the guy's arm. <laughs> Seems like it's a little too soon. Oh! I really like Spinner's design. He reminds me of a Ninja Turtle. Wow. I'm guessing not. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Did he? Oh no. 
He's more devious than that. He did. I'll say it after because I don't want to be talking, but just like he did with the All Might posters, remember? He was so careful. Oh, poor little mummy baby. Oh, good. What about. Oh, he's going to be all right. Oh, thank God. Oh, look at his family. Poor baby. Yeah, she's got to learn. I was going to say they should have someone with her who can, like, stop the quirk. Their quirks are perfect for each other, right? Oh, 
私の誇りとなっていた<笑>お前<笑>あっ Does that mean he gets his quirk back? I really thought after they, you know, they managed to at least keep him stable after he was wounded that they would be able to save him. But I want to talk about、um, some of the things he said、um, because this whole feud that happened between him and All Might was all because of their fundamental different. Perspectives on the world. Of course, you know, the crux of it being that Night Eye just didn't want All Might to die, but we, everything we've seen about Night Eye has shown that he has a very calculated way of looking at the world. And in those final moments that we just saw, you can see that he, um, He really kind of saw outside of that perspective. You know, he, he did find that Mirio was the, the best candidate for one for all, and that's why he took him under his wing. But in the end, it was so much more than that. And, you know, he and All Might both have just amazing hearts. You know, they're great heroes. And, You can see that、um, Night Eye took the approach of, you know, we want to be smart about everything we do so that we can save the most lives. Whereas All Might and similarly Izuku are just like, I don't care what the limits are. I don't care what the rules are. I don't care who says what. I will fight until I'm not breathing anymore. And then maybe I'll even try to fight some more. <laughs> And、um, they both have some、uh, merits, you know, those ways of thinking both have like decent logical points about them. But it was so heartwarming to see Night Eye finally kind of understand、um, the different perspective that, you know, he was so opposite of. And to have. Those last moments with Mirio and、oh, to finally get to make peace with All Might. And it, he did it, you know, they did it. The future is different now. Everything he was working for. Wow. I think this show hates my mascara. <laughs> Oh my god. And to think, like, that episode, like, we know the fight's over. It's called A Bright Future. You think everything's gonna be happy from there on out. And, uh, wow. But, you know, as awful as it is to lose him, I guess we can just take solace in the fact that he. He achieved what he wanted to. He grew as a person. 
and he made peace with his mentor and dear friend. Boy, if there's just any way, any way that, like, we saw him flatline for a second and then they come in and, like, do the, <laughs> the cardiac thing and he comes back to life. Boy, that would be great. Um, wouldn't want to cheapen the great moment that we had there, but, boy, I just, oh, I, I, I knew it. I knew that one of our new folks, they are going to make us love them and then something was going to happen. Um, so he saw Mirio's future and they didn't show what he saw, but he said it's he's going to be all right. He's going to be a great hero. Now, that could mean a couple things. Either eventually he'll get his quirk back, or just he's going to, with his Mirio-ness, just make such a mark on the world, just a positive mark on the world, that he will be a hero in his own right. Quirk or no quirk. Or both, you know? <laughs> um... Well, man, um, so now, so we still have the League of Villains to worry about. Um, they're after the drug, so that's still a thing. We're not, like, out of the woods. We'll never be out of the woods. As long as there's heroes, there's always going to be villains, because life. Um, I'm curious to see what happens with Ari. I don't know if we'll be seeing, like, a whole lot of her after this, because her story is kind of, you know, um... We've, we've uh, brought it to a natural conclusion, but I mean, she's still around, so like, who's she going to go live with? Who's she? I wonder, like, did they ever come right out and say if the boss was like, I don't, I don't know if they ever came right out and said this. They may have, and I may just be blanking on it now, my apologies, but I always kind of got the impression that like, Chisaki did something to the boss, and that's why he was in a coma. He wasn't like really ill. If that's the case, and the boss is okay, maybe he'll just, like, take her back in. But, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, um, I'm curious to see where we go from here, but boy, Night Eye. I knew, I knew when I recorded that first reaction to him, and just was so put off by him. <laughs> I knew, I knew he was going to make his way into my heart in such a big way. I had no idea it would end like this, but what an amazing story. One of these days, I will be able to wear mascara and not regret it watching the show. <laughs> I don't know when that day is going to be, but someday. You guys, beautiful, beautiful story, beautiful arc. Perhaps one of the best, um, if not the best, on the show. Loved it. Can't wait for more. We're still only, like, what, halfway through the season? Dang! This is such a good show, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for excusing my blubbering. <laughs> I hope to see you next time. Please join me then, and we'll watch it together. Bye for now, guys!